story trying to tell. This is my story. Motivate people, inspire people. You can be better. Yes, you can do better than what you're doing right now. Whether you're an artist, engineer, you know, whatever you're doing, whatever your occupation you are, if you're not happy, then guess what? Start brainstorming. Do something different. But change doesn't come without inconvenience. You are powerful. There's greatness inside of you. You just have to believe and trust God to help you along through it. Never stare at your circumstances. Stare at Jesus. Stare at your Creator. Okay? And believe me, all things are possible for those who believe. The Joel Iceberry movie starring CSI Miami and Criminal Mind star Adam Rodriguez. Mine's Peter Navy T and the candy man Tony John, who's from also from Hartford, Connecticut. Ilya Voluk from Swordfish. Diana Argon from Bleed. Danny Trejo from Machete, just to name a few. Joel has made TV appearances on Law and Order, America's Most Wanted, iCarly, and Film Bakers, to name a few. He's also done numerous independent films, and some have gone to film festivals. Some had a red carpet, and some still painted. Joel has also been in commercials, local TV shows for CBN and the ID Channel in Virginia, lots of plays, as well as short films and student films. Joel also believes in helping others achieve their dreams and collaborating with like minds, with casting, performing, and promoting their projects too, even if it means some directing and coaching their talent. Joel Caesar Roman was born in Bridgeport, Connecticut on August 30th, 1981. He attended Warren Harding High School and studied at TVI Actors Studio in New York, as well as numerous other workshops with those in the industry, while attending Lusitania Community College and studying theater arts. While Joel attended Harding, he was part of the morning radio show, where he gave himself the name El Nino. He also gave himself the name El Nino in the spur of the moment, which made sense for him since El Nino is a storm that people will never forget. And that's how Joel feels. Once you meet him and see him in action, you'll never forget him. At Harding, his senior year is when he began taking acting classes at RCA, and was in the play Fame, which was held at Central High School. Joel was inspired to acting after watching his neighbors Veronica Cruz in West Side Story at the McGivney Center and Jennifer A. Link in Guys and Dolls at Central High School. Joel's dream was to play for football for the NFL and was a starter on Harding Freshman's football team, like two back and cornerback. But on August 14, 1997, Joel was in a car accident with his youth group at St. Mary's Church in New Mexico, traveling to the Grand Canyon, which left him in a coma for a month. Once the doctors told Joel he couldn't play any contact sports due to sustaining brain damage, Joel got into acting. Once done with high school, he became part of an improv company called Endangered Species in New York, and they would perform at a restaurant in Midtown in a dinner theater style format. Joel has auditioned on many studio lots for projects like Warner Brothers, Paramount Studios, Sony Studios, for shows like ER, Cold Case, and films like Freedom Writers and Grand Torino, just to name a few. Joel dedicated his first film, The Humble Man, and then Purgatory's Table. What's up? Once again, my name is Joel El Nino Roman. I'm the director and writer of Purgatory's Table, and I also play the role of positive. Purgatory's Table is a film about a group of friends who have made poor choices. And when their poor choices lead to death, it sends only one back. But they all end up in Purgatory's Table together. It shows one character named Positive, who I play, who is actually a secret disciple. He's all about God, all about Jesus, all about going to church, but he becomes a chameleonaire once he's around his friends. He drinks, he parties, he cusses. He acts far from a Christian. No faith, no hope. He stoops down to the level. Then you have insecure, indecisive, negative, worry his friends and it shows how their choices and what they dealt with in life the obstacles the problems how it's affected the choices they made in their life how did i come up with the concept of purgatory statement why well, it's all about how the choices i made you know and where it left me positive and negative as well as those in my circle and i said you know what this is to be told to all people all around the world it's a message.
You could be insecure and decisive, negative and worried and be living hell right here on earth. You could be living purgatory table right here on earth and not even realize it, just becoming a robot. So it's to encourage people to watch this film and change their attitude. Be positive, make the right choice. Cause if you don't make a choice in life, the world will make a choice for you. And that would eat a purgatory table. So I said, it's time to write this up. One of the challenges that me and my crew had experienced on this project was we were the only crew. Me and my filmmaker Terrence were the crew. And thanks to the actors, the actors helped out too behind the scenes. But also we filmed this movie in one day. I think it was a 10 hour shoot. And we just kept on. It was straight guerrilla filmmaking. And um, as we we're guerrilla filmmaking this, we had a blueprint and we had a shot list, but we didn't even follow the shot list. Cause while we were filming this movie, we were just coming up with more ideas right on the spot and adding things and taking things away. What I think people will get from watching Purgatory Table, a message that they can, that can impact their life, they can apply to their life, see their life change, and then share with others. And that's why I want, that's the purpose of making Purgatory Table. To show people that sometimes we live this life not aware. We can be worried when we shouldn't. We could be insecure, indecisive, or negative when we shouldn't. So above all else, guard your heart, but it affects everything you do. The power of the mind is powerful. So the message I want them to get from watching this movie is to be aware 24-7, because it will affect your choices. Why live hell on earth when you can live heaven on earth? God is number one. He's your number one source. But you must be aware at all times. If not, you will end up in a purgatory table situation and you might not get sent back. This is a film for everyone. It's horror, oh yeah. But you know why? Because to live without God is to live in horror. All right, purgatory table coming soon. Glory be to God. I have a great time teaching, inspiring others, you know, being a great mentor. I mean, I've learned so much my 18 year career being in New York, California, that it's selfish not to share what I know. You know, I mean, a lot of times I pay, you know, for what I know, you know, through workshops, classes, private lessons. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes my mentors, they just gave it to me for free. So that's what I do. You know, I hold level up sessions where people can pay me $30 for the hour and I share my knowledge. Or if you're in my class, I just give you all this information. Well, it's been a good one. Um, Joel, Wolf, he, he's a really good dude, so I, I appreciate that about him. He himself is a genuine person, and he really cares about the well-being of the people he works with. On top of that, you know, I've taken his classes. I believe I took his class for maybe a year, year and a half at one point, and he's very informative. Um, me being an athlete, I'm going to use this example. I would never want to listen to a coach that never played the game. Well. Like any other athlete, you know, that's the same mentality. Joel has actually been to Hollywood. He actually speaks from a lot of experience and things that he's done. And that makes it And different. my son and I went in there um, to try out the acting class. I was told that I should do more things than just modeling. So <laughs> I tried out acting class. And he saw something in me that um, I didn't want to expose or even come near to as far as that that space, that energy, which is use my Asian accent. And it somehow worked, but I, because I didn't know him, um, I didn't trust him as, as, as anybody wouldn't trust anybody off bat like that. So I did a little commercial um, skit in the class and everybody loved it. And then 
I stopped taking acting class because life happened, and then I was getting ready for Expo, and when he helped all of us, but with me at the Expo event, very last minute, he told me that I had to do the Asian accent for my monologue, and I didn't want to do it because I felt very uncomfortable doing it, but I did it anyway um, to prep in the class. So when I did it, everybody loved it, and then Joelle was again right, so... <laughs> it makes you want to be better and to um, be able to perform to the best of your ability. And so when I went to Expo, wow, when I went to Expo, um, I had to be a character that I've never played before. It's the total opposite of who I am. And Joel kept saying, you can do it, you can do it. And I'm thinking in my head, no, I can't. I can't do this. But I work with Joel. He works with you one-on-one. -on -one. He works with you in the classroom. He does whatever is needed to, to help you and to make you feel comfortable. And so he pulled that out of me, that part where I can, mm -hmm. and I didn't think, because I'm so prim and proper, and I didn't think I would be able to do that. But I got up on that stage and I became that I was a mirror. I met Joel back was it 2009. Um, he was working on my film on Town of the Ghosts. When I first met Joel, it was at um, my audition and he just had so much energy. I mean, he was the loudest one in there. He didn't, and we did the, uh, the audition at the library. And everybody else was just like, okay, we need to be quiet. But Joel was just so passionate about acting and stuff. And I remember uh, the library kept coming in the room saying, hey, that guy's gonna need to be quiet. And then, uh, all right, I gotta start back up again. And Joel, he was in there. Um, he got loud again. He was just really getting into his thing. Like, hey, he had to try to be quiet. Um, but. He was just, just great, to, you know, making people laugh and stuff like that. I remember um, it was on, was on set, and uh, he was just always um, just, just playing around and stuff like, and you know, if stuff was boring, he'll, he'll make you laugh. Um, yeah, I met Joel. I, I've been knowing Joel for probably two years now. I met Joel during the time when I, I say that time I was on autopilot. I was going through a situation and I was at the same time writing a play and casting for it. And um, Joel was recommended, he came highly recommended. So I was like, okay, hope he can do it. I really need this guy to have some, you know, some, some street in him or, and also be a little funny. And, and when he showed up, he was all that. And I, I was just like, oh my God, you know, like this guy's perfect. Now he's gonna play the role of a gang leader, even though he stands <laughs> right here, 4'11". I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he's like, he's this, he's a short gentleman with this tall personality that makes you just, I mean, just makes you fall in love with his spirit. It's just so infectious. I met Joel um, around 2013 through to 2014, and we had the opportunity to uh, co-teach together at a uh, performing arts school. It's called uh, Inspiring Mind School of the Arts. And Joel was the acting coach. I was the uh, dance choreographer. And um, I had the opportunity to be uh, for him to be my acting coach because I was in some of the um, skits and plays that he could help co-write. And he's always been who he is now, an encourager, um, an influencer, um, a motivator, um, inspiration. He's always been a hard worker in what he does, challenging you to, uh, you know, to raise your, your craft to the next he's level. There. He um, always gives me an inspiration that, to keep on going, to go on. And sometimes people say, you ever thought about quitting? I heard people talk about that. Well. I have so many resources because of Joel 
that things just always constantly seem to work out. Um, I helped him on several projects and when he's doing things, he'll call me up and he'll be like, Aaron, can you film me? And I'll be like, yeah, man, come on over. Always want to make time for him because he's always made time for me. And uh, I mean, the guy is great. I love working with him and I'm hoping he doesn't know it, but he's got a whole lot more to do in my life when it comes to making films. So, uh, hey, Joel, thanks, man. I appreciate you being there for me and looking forward to a lot of work in the future. Thanks, man. For some reason, we, we uh, something came across my heart to call him, so I called Joe, and um, man, just just meeting him, just the energy he brought, man, I was like, I gotta, I gotta continue to work with this guy. He had a lot of energy that night, so um, I was like, man, I, I can't wait to work with this guy. And so he sent me, a, he sent me a, a link to his video, um, a film he did, um, where they tortured this little poor cat, and. Um, <laughs> Once I saw that, I was hooked. I said, man, I got to work with this guy right So, so um, we, our first project was The Woods. Um, it was like a class project <laughs> where we, we had some of the actors come together and, and it pretty much we kind of just created it off top, you know? Oh my God. We, we did The Woods uh, short film and it got canceled in the midst of the project. So Joe came to me and was like, man, I got this idea for it. This this film I want to do, where where um, everybody's trapped in hell, and so I was like, okay, well let's meet and you know let me hear what you got. So when he when he told me the script and he showed it to me, man, I was blown away. So I was like, yeah, we can do this, but we I didn't have a crew at the time, so pretty much I went out there running gun by myself, and and of course my son Nas, shout out to Nas for helping us out with the sound, but pretty much it was just a two man crew, and then. Joe would come and help at times. And so the whole film was pretty much created from, even though we scripted and planned and kept saying, hey, we got a post-production, we got a pre-plan. When we got out there, it was a whole different story. And, and that project, I think, really elevated me as a filmmaker. Um, if I have to describe Joe, working with Joe on set, I, I'll say he's a, he's a mad scientist. He's an innovator. Um, and, and, and he, he is very creative. Um, the, his creativity and drive is what, is what pushes him to always move to the next level, to always take things to the next level. So. <laughs> I am Hollywood. Yeah, you are whatever you say you are. So watch what you put after your eye in. Hollywood is not just in Hollywood, California. No, that's being, no artist. Hollywood is wherever you make it. So get to work, Thespian. Get to work, artist. Get to work, dreamer. This is for all you dreamers. Create while you wait, because someone is always watching. <laughs> Hollywood. I am whatever you say I am. Hollywood! What I want everybody to get out of this documentary, I, I Am Hollywood, is gotta move, all right? Aspiring artists, thespians, writers, dancers, whoever's a dream rock, chase your dream. I Am Hollywood is all that I've been doing these past 18 years. I am that actor, the actor that you see chasing down subway, jumping on taxis, jumping on buses, airplanes, trains, to get to auditions in New York while I was in California, everywhere. I need to happen. So I want everybody to keep chasing their dream, never lose hope, trust in God, and believe. Don't give up, but you have to move. My bishop once told me, the body was created to move. So you gotta get out there. It's a sacrifice. You gotta make it your life. So I encourage everyone who watched this documentary and who's listening right now, go for your dream. The time is now. Don't wait for it. Make it happen. You got what it takes. Remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You got this. Make it your life. It's a sacrifice. Make that choice now, or the world will make a choice for you. Hollywood! This is the documentary, and I am Joel El Nino Roman.